I get to talk today about two of my favorite high-end, well, actually really luxury hair brands, hair tool brands and hair care brands, and that is Dyson and GHD because both brands have a little something new that you're going to talk about and hear about today with me, Rebecca. I'm a fashion and beauty editor who has worked with some of the biggest names in the industry and I have brought Not Fit for Print Beauty here so that you have a little bit of a live beauty magazine that you can kind of flip through on YouTube every day or so. If you've been with this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I love me a hair gadget. I am, uh, I am too prone and too interested in hair gadgets. I have a closet full of them. None of them have been given to me for free. I buy all of them, um, no matter their price, it seems. I love hair gadgets, probably because I am, um, I call, I say this about myself, I am hair impaired. I am always struggling. I can't do hair. I have trouble doing hair, and I'm always struggling with hair. And lately, the past few years, I have had hair of every length. I've had it almost down to my belly button, and then it got shorter and shorter and shorter, and then I got I went really short, and now I'm even experimenting with that length. I'm not satisfied with my hair lately, and that just makes my hair gadget obsession a little worse. But no matter how much I play with like cheapo and drugstore hair care things, and I'll link all my all my hair gizmo and hair appliance videos at the end of this video, I'll make a collection of them and in case you want to browse through them. Um, but my favorites are always Dyson and GHD. And that's hard as a favorite because they're expensive. But I have bought them all, all of these products I've purchased. And so I'm really excited to talk about them. We're going to talk about and use them in conjunction. Um, and they are competitors, so they might not like that. But I purchased it, so I can do that, right? This is, first of all, we're going to talk about the GHD Duet Blow Dry Brush. It's got hair coming out of it, so you know it's used. This is a whopping $399. That's right. None of this is cheap, it's true. Um, and it's kind of the companion to the um, GHD blow dry straightener, the Duet blow dry straightener. So we're gonna talk about both of them and the differences, although I suppose they're obvious. And then Dyson, actually they're, they're doing, it looks like Dyson is doing some improvements on their original supersonic blow dryer and on their air wrap. Um, and I, I'm, I don't know what I know about that yet, but I hear there's going to be like, I just don't know if I could do an air wrap upgrade for the amount. I have air wrap videos and lots of air wrap thoughts, and we can even chat about that below. That's not what this video is about. But today or this month, what Dyson has done is they've, they've actually stepped into the uh, hair product realm. Um, they've got a pre-style cream and a post-style cream. I have tried both and been working with them. The fun thing about these is that I have done a lot of research and I've been using these for a lot. So you've actually seen my hair um, in other videos after playing with these products because I've had these each actually probably for about a month now. So I've really been extensively working with them. So you know you can't shut me up. I've got a lot to say. Okay, so first of all, we have this Dyson, they've got this pre-style and post-style cream. And what's really interesting about it, the packaging is beautiful, is they call it a Chittison, Dyson Chittison. Now, I looked up Chittison because I was like, what is that? You know, I think of myself as fairly intellectual and esoteric, but I had never heard that term. Chittison. It's a chemical that's found in the inside of like uh, seashells, like shrimp shells and such. And some people say it helps with weight loss or it condenses things. I saw a lot of different stuff online, all of which confused me as to why Dyson would call their hair products this. If anyone knows, please let me know. Um, but that is what they called it. Now, it's got some really cool, I mean, the packaging on these is really neat. So this is the uh, post style cream. You open it like this. Wait a minute. I uh, was playing with the, uh, there we go. You open it like this. It kind of is magnetized. And then you press on it. I'll show you in the um, video. Actually, I'll show you right now. Here's me putting it on dry hair that I was, as you see here, I'm kind of going to preserve the style. So I'm running it through hair that I have just used a Bave Waves X on. I've already reviewed that product, so I could, that review will be in the list after this video. But there I am just kind of running it through and showing you how to use it. The other product that they have is this 
pre-style cream, which it allowed me to buy a mini, so I did. I always buy a mini first if I can, because I never know if I'm gonna like it, but if I do like it, then I'm gonna buy it in this. So these will sit right next to one another. I actually like these. So let's let's talk about them a little bit. First of all, the price is run the same. So this, just like this, with the container in it, um, and you can get this in the pre or post style, is about $60. I think it's like $59.99. Um, and you can get the refill for about $55. You only say $5 on the refill. And you're gonna go through this pretty quickly, especially if you're like me with thick hair. Um, and then the 15 milliliter, this is what I bought just to try it. It was $20. This is a mess. I'm gonna to have to keep this in a plastic bag. I wish I had recorded. I wish I had filmed me trying to get the, I didn't understand how to top and I was putting a scissors in it. And then I finally, I should have recorded it with um, like chainsaw sound effects because now it's leaking everywhere. This is the $20 15 milliliter because I just wanted to try it. I can tell you already I want to get it in this because this is really cool. You'll see in the demo um, how it works and how it disperses. So of course, as you can imagine, and I'll put it up here on video, you put this in your hair first when it's towel dried and damp right before you dry it or style it or whatever it is that you are going to do with your hair. And this is a messy way to do it, but I do like trying it. These have a very gentle scent to them. Both the products, both these Chittison products from Dyson, they have a very gentle scent and they feel really nice. They almost have a skincare feel to them. Now, because I am a hair uh, gadget junkie, I'm also a little bit of a hair styling product junkie. I admit it, I've tried everything from drugstore to every salon type, from you know Amica to Orbe to, yeah, you name it, I've tried it. And oftentimes I can't wait to wash my hands and get the hair product off of it. This really felt like a skin, like skincare products. They have a little bit of a scent to them, but it disappears. They're really pleasant in your hair and there's no stickiness. Dyson promises that this will hold your hair without making it crunchy. And I honestly got the products and thought, yeah, we'll just see about that 100%. I have been using the pre and post they should both look like this. This is just the cheapies club version. But both the pre and the post, um, I can't even feel. I have both of them in my hair now, you guys. And you can brush through my hair. You can run your fingers through it. You cannot feel any product. But it does 50% reduces on the frizz. And I would say that's accurate because I do suffer from some frizz. And it also gives you two times the hold, which I like. I have been known, and please drop a comment below if you're like me. Sometimes the fact that I am hair impaired, I think, look, I mean, it's me telling you this, but I think sometimes it makes me a good spokesperson for this stuff because if you're really good with hair, like my hairstylist, Gladys, she needs a blow dryer and a brush, and she can make you look like you, you know, you're ready to have tea with the king, right? So that's all she needs. I need every bit of help. So sometimes I feel like I, I'm reliable on this. I often skip creams, post-styling cream, pre-styling cream, because I sometimes think that the cure is worse than the disease. They're on my hands, my hair is crunchy. I don't feel like it helps the hold. I feel like it weighs it down. These are honestly like there's nothing in my hair. Um, and a lot of hair care products make that promise. Styling creams, you'll never feel it. It's totally weightless. It's and I've never found that to be true until these. They are a pretty penny. Um, put this in the luxury category, but honestly, I feel like I've got nothing in my hair, which suits me because I don't generally use styling products. I know. And then I complain that my hairstyles don't stay, but I don't generally use them because I don't enjoy that sticky, heavy, scented, crunchy feeling. And these literally... I feel nothing. So I am going to buy the pre-style. This is a mess in this form because I do like the way it dispenses and I think it's actually really pretty to be sitting and I like that magnetic thing. I just like it. Call me a sucker, but I like it a lot. Okay, so here's me using the pre-styling cream. I use this on towel dried hair that's towel dried about a half hour or so. Forgive the fact that I have the junky um, small 15 milliliter sample but I thought $20 was better than an initial investment of 60. I guess when I got the post style one, which I'll remind you of, um, that's just on, on crimped, um, that's on waved hair. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I saw the option of getting the smaller size or I probably would have. Um, and I'm kind of glad because it turns out I like them and I'm able to show you the packaging better. So that I'm good with that. All right, let's talk about, those are great products, honestly, weightless, they feel great and I do feel that they reduce frizz and uh, for me just like I can't even tell they're in there it's pretty good so I highly recommend those all right let's talk about this new GHD product so 
I, like I said, I will look at every type of hair gizmo and gadget, but my favorite are always Dyson and GHD. And interestingly enough, I prefer Dyson and GHD uh, for different things. I don't generally like both. Uh, everyone knows, for instance, I do not like the Dyson hair straightener. I prefer the GHD Platinum any old day. Now, GHD had a while ago, there's this race now in technology to develop, especially Dyson kind of started it with the Airwrap, this race to create more and more intricate, um, self-timing, self-temperature regulating, hair styling devices for the hair impaired. Again, and you can speak out, and I know we have some hairstylists that watch this channel, and you can speak out to this. A lot of hairstylists don't mess with this stuff because you guys can do wonders with a blow dryer, any old blow dryer, and any old brush, or a round brush and a blow dryer, certainly. But for people like me to try to make this easier, we have all these things that sense what's in your hair, et cetera, et cetera. So both GHD came, G and Dyson came out with one of these, uh, a season or two ago. I reviewed both, it will be afterwards. I'm holding up the GHD one because we're talking about GHD. And this is the GHD Duet. This both blow dries your hair, it takes it from kind of towel dried to straight. My daughter loves it, uses it all the time. They're a little bit loud. You can use them also just as a straightener. But the idea is, and that's where this new product comes from. This is the slightly older product. It is a straightener and a blow dryer. Of this product, I actually prefer the Dyson one more, which is the Dyson Air Straight. I actually use my Air Straight more, my daughter uses the GHD. But what GHD has done, which is particularly ingenious, is they've taken that duet that I just showed you, and they've made it into a brush. So this is one, it's not that new, you've seen other brands that do this, it's true, but this will blow dry and style your hair with a hot brush in one fell swoop. Okay, so I'm gonna show you me using it, um, you know, kind of throughout. It's a pretty penny, it's $399. Um, I'm sure Dyson will soon be following with their version of it. I actually really like this. When I review products, I think I did a better job of it when I had longer hair. So whenever I did like my Dyson Air Wrap reviews and stuff, I had longer hair, which is easier to do. And I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of have this longer, um, bob now it's hard to do it but this is actually the perfect product for a longer bob because it allows me to dry it straight and under when i use either the air straight or this original ghd duet the duet um straightener blow dryer rather than the brush when i use this duet original duet or the dyson air straight I get stick straight hair that then I have to go in with a flat iron and kind of curl it under. Because these don't do, both this and the air straight, don't do that great of a job curling under. You can do it, but it's not great. This one blow dries my hair straight and curls it under. Uh, and I have been using this exclusively on my hair. I used it this morning. I'm 10 minutes out of a blow dry hair with uh, these products. And I've been really happy. Um, the only thing I hear, a lot of people say this is heavy. I am a weakling. I have no upper body strength. Like, I'll kick you hard, okay? I'm, I will. I'm like a kangaroo. But up top, I don't have much strength. And so um, I thought, oh, no, it's heavy. Is it going to hurt? Is it going to... No, I've, I've actually been... I've been absolutely fine with it. I haven't had any trouble with finding it too heavy. I mean, it's solid, um, but I haven't had any problem with it. The only problem I've had with this, and this is probably a Rebecca issue, and it's not GHD's fault that I'm a big old klutz. I sometimes like burn myself a little bit. Like the, you, you put your hand over. Like I, I, I do this, right, guys? And I, you know, I kind of put my hand there while I'm. This is, you know, while I'm doing it, and. I don't know what I'm touching because you can't touch the hot plates, but somehow like my pinky will get through. I have never had anything that's blistering or where I need ice or anything, but I have about three or four moments during blow dries. I'm always like, ow. Hmm. And then I move on. There's never a mark or anything. So it's never a huge burn and it's probably a Rebecca issue, but I'm just telling you, um, for some reason, I have had that issue a little bit. Now, let's compare this to a few others. Like T3 and Dry Bar has this. Um, and the T3 and the Dry Bar ones are about 150. And I know like, you can get a hot blow-dry brush like Revlon and Conair and stuff for really cheap. 
none of those have worked as well for me as this one, but this one, of course, has that price tag to it. And uh, where do we stop comparing? I mean, you could say that Wet n Wild has a great eyeshadow as, compo as compared to Givenchy. You might be right in some cases, but we are talking about, we're not talking apples to apples. I prefer my Toyota to my friend's Range Rover because hers breaks down all the time, but um, it's still a Toyota. You know, hers is much more luxurious. Do you know what I'm saying? So it, it, they're different things. I have been really enjoying that. It, it is what I did my hair with, like I said, 10 minutes ago, and it looks like I don't have any product in it but it's holding its shape really well. So I gotta tell you, all really, really good reviews. Depends what you're trying to do. I do like the original, I do like that this blow dries and straightens. My daughter, who has hair um, about chest level, uses it just to go completely straight when she's kind of running late for school and took a shower in the morning, and it, she can get her thick hair dried and straight in like 10 minutes. I do have a review of this. Um, and I've been using my Dyson Air Straight almost exclusively, but then I have to go over it to kind of get it under with this long bob. And on this one, I just I'm doing this, you know. Um, you can also do the front because it's a brush. You can, you know, flip some hair through it and you can bring your hair back with it like you would a round brush. Uh, I do know that if you have the Dyson Air Wrap, you have the brush attachment and they do sell an extra larger round brush attachment and that's good too. Um, you know, so it really is what you want. All of these machines will do what you want. It's kind of just preference. And I've been finding I like this better than the round brush attachment on my Dyson. And I like this better than any of the cheaper versions of this. But again, it's $3.99. might be something that you want to splurge on in a sale. And the other thing is, honestly, if GHD has done it, Dyson's version cannot be that far behind because I do not see the air wrap attachment as the Dyson version, but I could be wrong. In terms of the Dyson products, I thought these were going to be ridiculous, but I really, really like them. I mean, they definitely reduce frizz, definitely hold, I'd say about 25% more and feel like nothing in the hair. So a great review all around. Again, at the end of this video, which is coming up, there will be um, a link right there in the uh, on the ending little card there that you can click on and see all of my different hair care videos. I, 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 if it's a gizmo, if it's a product, I absolutely love it. You can't stop me. You can also go down below to see how to buy these or peruse these. I'll try to put them up on YouTube Shopping too, where I can on screen. Check out information on our free Facebook membership. Thank you, Helen, who runs that over there and works really hard. You can find out information about our membership here on YouTube with me. We have weekly lives. Catch me over on Instagram, threads, and of course, TikTok. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Bye-bye.